Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome back to another Lumber Talking 2 video. Because I can't seem to escape the game because you guys love it too much. And I just love building on it. So we got to play it. We got to play it. Who's first time here? Is this your first video that you've ever seen of mine? Did you know that there's an entire channel with other games? <gasps> Code, no. There's the only Lumber. That's all I have eyes for. Um, so Roblox is like full of different games. Anyhow, before I get started, like comment, subscribe down below, hit the notification bell, do all those cool things that I'm supposed to flash up on the screen all flashy like, but I don't have any of those animations. So there you go. Now, a lot of you are gonna be in the comments be like, code, I can make you one of those. That's fine. I, I don't need them. I've been around a while and I still don't use them. Oh, the golden toilets. I'm glad you laughed at that. Thank you. <laughs> um, we need to go get some glass. Wait, did I use glass? No, I have not bought glass. And I wanted to run over there quickly because um, the store is going to be closing before you know it. Oh, huge shout out to Morgs. Thank you so much for uh, for purchasing a whole bunch of glass for me. And uh, I'll, I'll get it eventually. Eventually. But shout out to you, buddy. And uh, yeah, uh, I also want to announce during this video that um, the person was not a hacker. They were a fan who was watching the live stream and tried the link and just happened to jump in with me. A lot of people got upset because I was like, oh my gosh, you hacked. It was an assumption at first, but I mean, if you watch the entire video, it wasn't an actual hacker. Uh, but the process of by which grabbing an old link to try and gain access to something that you didn't really have access to at that particular point in time, that is hacking, technically. So I, I will let it go on a technicality. Some people are like, clickbait, and I'm like, it's not clickbait, it's what I thought was happening at that time, and I just made it very interesting. That's all. Anyhow, whether or not you believe that I clickbait, that's not whether or not, like, I don't care. I mean, I do care. I don't want you guys to ever think that I'm clickbaiting, clickbaiting. But I will definitely make my thumbnails more interesting. Did you click on this one? I, like, I don't even know what the, the thumbnail is yet, or what I'm going to make it into. You know, that's the creative process that I have. It's go and record first, see what happens during the video, and then make the thumbnail afterwards. That's the way all of my videos go. I could stand here and be like, pink truck with maniacs, oh my goodness, at the fancy furnishing. I could do something like that, which it wouldn't be true. You know, the, actually it could be true. The maniacs could still be down there. I mean, it still appears in the game. You just have to have a way of getting to it. Oh my goodness, hold on. Ooh, I think I think I feel a sneeze. Oh. No, not a sneeze. Just just snot. That's all it is. It's not a sneeze. <laughs> horrible, horrible dad jokes. I think my dad jokes are getting worse and worse over the years. Anyhow. Um, I do have some amazing news and I can now announce it because I have signed contract. I am under contract for a new book. Well, it's, it's a, a rewrite of an original book. So, um, I am going to definitely take some time to, um, start working on it, which means I might have to cut some time out of the, um, out of the, oh gosh, current schedule. <sighs> that doesn't mean I'm going to take a break from videos. It just means that I might have to cut my videos short to like 15 minutes each, you know, or maybe even eight minutes. Eight minutes is like the max that you can have <clears throat> without losing monetization. And I mean, you guys, you guys would watch it anyway, if, and if it was eight minutes and stuff. But uh, somebody said, I wish code would do short videos on the glitches and tricks. I am totally down with that. In fact, let's make, let's make this one a quick tutorial of tricks. Okay. Uh, quick tutorial of tricks. What should I, what should I do? What trick should I show you how to fly with uh, glass? We, okay. So well, I'm actually going to do that while I'm, Oh, I can't do that with that one here with one that I've already purchased. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go inside fancy furnishings, you're gonna purchase one of these large pane glasses, just like this. You can also do it with large pane doors if you want. I find that these are easier to control. You're gonna stand back like this, or you're gonna go into first person. Either way it works. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it and walk forward. As soon as you grab and start walking forward, you begin to lift into the air. 
And the reason for this is because the feet themselves uh, are not touching the glass. There's just enough delay and smallness to or to the, the thickness of the, the glass itself that it doesn't register. Otherwise, if you stand on it and click, you can't grab. And that's because the feet are grabbing themselves. So if we're off and we jump, see, that still kind of works. But the reason it doesn't work is because the instant you touch, the grab lets go. And that's a local script. So the reason it works is there's a network delay. There's a slight network delay between the glass and our avatars. So when we grab like this and start walking forward, our, uh, our feet don't touch the glass. The bottom of our feet don't touch the glass. Technically, they're under the glass, which doesn't count as a contact. Now, our, our butt can touch and our hips can touch, but just not our feet. I think if I stop, yeah, if I stop walking, then our feet touch. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. Oh, there we go. I just had to drop it down just enough. Anyhow, that is the floating glass uh, trick. Whoops. Come on. Stand back. Grab, walk. There we go. I like doing it in first person just because it feels more smooth. It feels like I've got a lot more control. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow. If you're out looking for uh, spook wood, or if you're just trying to explore areas and stuff like that, great method to get around. Easy flying technique. If you want to get over to the Palm Islands, you're not going to have any way of getting back unless you like find a, a smooth piece that you can whoop, that you can grab onto and tiny enough. But oh, that's going to do it. Sweet. So we're at seven minutes and ten seconds. I'm going to make this a really short video because I really do. I have to go and um, do the author thing. I got to I got to do the author portal and set up my book and everything. But that's that's the tutorial. That's cool. I'm I'm going to do that. That's that's what we're going to do. So, uh, stay tuned for more awesome tips, tricks and tutorials on Lumber Tycoon 2. I know that there's uh, there's a lot of building to do, but again, I've just signed contract, so I'm I am now under obligation to get some stuff done, and it's going to be a very quick, short duration. It's not going to be the uh, six months that I had for the uh, for the other book, uh, for for my first book. And just so you know, oh no, no, goodness, go back, get it, get it, come on, come on, merrily, merrily, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, merrily, come on, buddy, there we go. Thank you, sir or madam. Boop. I guess you do, you do have to be non-binary whenever you're programming these things, because, well, you could read off the gender of the avatar. There, There is a command to do that inside the profiles and stuff like that, inside Lua. But that's another thing. Um, my advanced Roblox coding book, stay tuned. The revisioned, updated version is coming. Now I can't say too much on that because I'm not under contract yet for its release or for its its um, make. But I am under contract for the first one so I can absolutely mention it and start getting you guys hyped up. By the way, PAX East Online is coming out soon. PAX East Online. I'm going to shout it out right here. <clears throat> here we go. Uh, oh, that's not going to be the only, only thing. PAX East Online. Uh, uh, Google it now. Grab your tickets. By the way, for those of you who are sitting there saying, oh, Code, I don't have enough money for the tickets for um, Google PAX or for uh, PAX East. Yes, you do. Do you know why? Because PAX East Online is free. Hold on. PAX East. Let me go to the PAX East Online and I will showcase this for you just because I'm, I'm so happy for it. I'm so glad that they did this. Uh, let's go to, what is it, Properties, Chrome, PAX. There it is, PAX East Online. So accept all the cookies, there you go. Badges are on sale, you click on the badges, guess what? Oh wait, is that PAX East Access? The basic package is free 
All right, full access to the PAX Online East Twitch streams, full access to the PAX East Online merch store, uh, to the PAX East Expo Hall, to the online Discord. Uh, this extra stuff down here, if you pay $15 to get an online badge, you get a $10 discount for the merch. So, I mean, technically you're only paying $5 for the badge because you get $10 to spend on merch. That's free money right there. Uh, the other thing is you get exclusive access to purchase the LE Penny Arcade Pin. You'll you'll see what they are, and I don't know if they have the design out yet, but it's amazing. Uh, I'm actually going to get my one myself. Gold Pass subscription to Tabletopia. Okay, I, I don't know what that one is. Uh, eligibility for Omegathon participation and early access to the PAX Online East Discord. So I'm giving them a shout out. Gonna hashtag it inside the descriptions and all that stuff and make sure that it's in the tweets whenever I send out the tweety tweets. But that's it. I gotta go. That's it. So, Lumber Tycoon 2. Like, comment, subscribe. Hey, Team Pop. Uh, <laughs> I gotta go, buddy. I'll, I'll talk to you in a second. But thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Good Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here. You watched. You had fun. I love you guys for that. Oh, you couldn't see Team Pop, could you? Look, Team Pop joined me. Hi, Team Pop. There he is. Shout out, buddy. There you go. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <sighs> I'm sorry that it's so short. Oh, true. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.